guys. So, um, I wanted to come on here and talk about my experience at Walker Stalker Atlanta. Um, it's been a while, I know, um, but I know that I really like to come on, on here on YouTube and, like, see other people's experiences with, like, these sorts of things. So, you know, I thought however long ago it was, it just might be helpful to somebody. Um, so... I went to Atlanta in October. It was three days. I think it's the largest con that they do, that um, Walker Stalker does. It was the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th. Um, and, you know, I cosplay The Walking Dead sometimes. I, am I, I don't even know if I'm considered a cosplayer, but I do some cosplays. Um, I do Carol, incidentally. Um... And she's my favorite character. She's such a badass. Like, I love her so much. And I cosplay um, Sasha. And I also cosplay Morgan. So I wanted to bring those three cosplays to Walker Stalker Atlanta and just meet up with, you know, other people that um, I had met at Jersey, meet up with people who I just have seen over the internet. Um, and just kind of like, I don't know, just just have a, a brand new experience because um, I had never flown before. I had never been out of like the tri-state area um, by myself before. So I really wanted to experience those, those kind of two brand new things. So I had to fly to Atlanta. Um, I booked my ticket on Travelocity. So I did um, a room and uh a room in an air airfare and it came up to about seven hundred dollars so i thought that was pretty pretty good deal um especially because the hotel was like probably like 20 minutes from from the convention center um the georgia world congress center i think it was called um, so it was about 20 minutes on public transportation, maybe even less, because I felt like 20 minutes was the estimated time, but it was more like 10 minutes, um, depending, actually depending on when the train comes, it was like 10 minutes, but anyway, um, so I had never flown. It's going to be my first time flying by myself because I went by myself because nobody I knew really liked The Walking Dead that much. Or, and nobody that I knew really had the funds to go. So, um, yeah, I was very, I had a lot of anxiety about flying. Not, not flying. I had a lot of anxiety about navigating the airport. Like, I thought I would accidentally have bought materials to make a bomb and then I would get, like, tackled by TSA or, you know, just crazy things that I would get lost because, you know, of all those shows of people like running through airports and like they get to the wrong terminal and they miss their flight, like all that stuff's going through my head. Like I'm going to get lost. I'm going to get detained by TSA. I'm going to like, I'm going to do something wrong and I'm not going to, I'm going to miss my flight. I'm going to waste $700 because everything is like non-refundable, non-transferable, etc. But I got there and it was pretty straightforward. Um, what airport did I go to? I think I went to, uh, not the one in Queens. It's, I can't remember. I think it was the, or I can't remember the one that I left, um, from, but, um, yeah, it wasn't bad. It was super straightforward and I had no, no qualms about flying, like, I didn't, it didn't really bother me. It felt like being on the train. And I, I saw a lot of people saying, you know, how freezing cold it gets, how, um, you know, how loud it is. I, it wasn't, I didn't experience any of that. Like my ears didn't pop. Um, I do get motion sickness. So I was also concerned about that. So I popped a motion sickness pill right before I started. I went uh, right before. So that was fine. Um, but yeah, it was super straightforward and I 
you know, flew with no problems. So that was pretty, pretty it was pretty easy. Um, you know, it, it kind of felt actually when the plane took off, it kind of felt like be, what I think being on a roller coaster felt like, like my stomach dropped when we took off. And then while we were just flying, it was fine. No, no kind of, um, no kind of weird feelings. I don't know. No. And then the pilot was super cool. Like he didn't try and do any dips and tricks and like he kept the plane pretty steady and there was no turbulence or anything like that. So flying was pretty cool. Like I liked it. Um, the only thing I didn't like was how compact everything was. was goddamn tiny. Um, like I, I've, I spilled my drink on, on, on the guy. I was in the window seat and the two people who were already like, um, going to be in my aisle were already sitting and comfortable and whatever. So I had coffee and like, first thing I did getting on the freaking flight spilled coffee on a random stranger. He was cool about it though. Um, he didn't make a big deal, but how embarrassing, um, but yeah, it was everything was super compact and tight. Like I was getting antsy towards the end of the flight. It was about two two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. Um, and just being so feeling like I had no space to like even like stretch out my arms even a little bit. That was the only thing that was kind of super annoying about flying for the first time. Um, then I got out off the flight and went to get my bags, whatever. And I felt like I would be comfortable enough to take public transportation the whole time that I was in Atlanta because I'm from New York city and you know, our, our train system is pretty, I guess, complicated. Um, you know, there's a thousand lines and a thousand transfers and a thousand ways to get, get to the same place. But um, Atlanta has like four trains, <laughs> four trains, and they go north, south, east, and west. And they all kind of uh, converge at like one point. I think it's called, I think it's called like one point or something like that. Um, so I was pretty comfortable with taking the train everywhere that I wanted to go because I wanted to do some sightseeing while I was in Atlanta. The Walking Dead films in Atlanta. So, um, I, I knew some of the places like in the first season were in downtown Atlanta and then some of the other places were kind of like in the country parts, um, and Sonoy, but I knew I was going to be able to get to Sonoy, but you know, just kind of really close to the, to downtown Atlanta. So, um, I took buses and trains, um, all, where did I go? I went to Terminus. I went to, uh, where else? I went to the hospital, um, the Atlanta missions where they actually filmed, filmed it. And I, I went to, um, the place where the horde submerges on Rick, um, when he's riding into Atlanta for the first time. So I went to those three places. I wanted to go to the CDC, um, the CDC, because it's not the actual CDC. And I wanted to go to Rick's house and Morgan's house. They're all, like, really close together. Uh, well, the CDC is, like, all the way up here, northern uh, Atlanta. And then the CDC, uh, the um, Rick's house and Morgan's house is kind of down there somewhere. So the, those are not close together. So I actually didn't get to go to those places. But I got to Atlanta around like eight o'clock in the morning and then I went to, to those different places. Um, and then the con actually started like around, uh, uh like 11 or something. So I had a couple hours to kill and I, that's what I did. And I kind of, you know, made my own walking dead personal tour and it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. So uh, yeah. So this is like the first part of the video. I can't believe I talked for 10 minutes about nothing pretty much. So, um, stay tuned for the rest of the rest of this.